So let's go to fight of the year. Our last subject, fight of the year. Ooh. And I'm going to start it off with Christian Caban. We're going to start it off with Chris. Chris, okay. what, what, what's your fight of the year, my brother? Orlando Salido against Taz Deck. I can't pronounce his last name. They had a fight of me. Coco Jim. Tackle Coco Jim. Tackle Coco Jim. Yeah, that's who I got. The fighters fight of the year. That was um, my man um, Salido finally stopped him in the 11th, I remember. And um, it was mad knockdowns in that fight. I think about six or seven. But that is my fight of the year. That was a war. Actually, I didn't watch it that night. Arrow gave me the video to watch next day because I already, I pretty much, I prejudged the fight. I thought Salido was going to destroy him, but Arrow told me, "Yo, you need to go watch this fight." I watched the fight, and Arrow was right. I was not disappointed. That was fight of the year. Do you think that with that fight, that will propel Salido to another title shot, or do you think he's pretty much done at the world title level? I think he's good. He's he's. I don't think he's going to – he moved up to 135. I don't think he'll win a belt up at that level. No. He better stay away from uh, Felix Vail. I know that for a fact. Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate you. And let me move over to UK Boxing Blogger. Fight of the year. Let me get it. Right. Um, right, my fight of the year. Again, I got fight of the year. Performance of the year, fight, fight of the year, going to Gamboa, uh, going to Crawford again with Crawford versus Gamboa, easily fight of the year for me. Just want to quick, give a quick honor uh, mention to uh, a, a fight in the UK, the Gary Butlin fight against Gavin Rees. The first fight at the beginning of the year was a great fight. I really enjoyed watching that, and I got to put a shout out to Mayweather Maidana. You know, that, that that was a great fight as Which well. one? Re- Which one? The first one. Okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah, the first one. Mayweather Maidana won. That was a great fight, man. Just so that, that us just put them mentions to them two fights. I really enjoyed them fights, but to me, the fight that got me buzzing, like flying around my living room, it's gotta be Gamboa versus Crawford, man. There were so many variables into that fight. Crawford looked powerful, big. Gamboa was aggressive and, and what added to it was Gam. I was so impressed with uh, Crawford, like just, just super hyped about him, but then the courage of Gamboa and the fighting spirit of him as well. Oh, it was just a beautiful blend, man. It was a great, great fight. Uh, my fight of the year. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, UK Boxing Blogger. I'm going to move it over to Boxing Beats and Rhymes, fight of the year. Let me get it. I've got, I've got Salido versus Coach Jim as one of them. But you know what I mean, that that was a that was a mad fight. It was a mad fight. Salido went down plenty of times. He still managed to win. But I'm gonna go for Stevenson versus Fonfaro. That fight was brilliant to me. I, I love that fight, man. I mean, they both showed a lot of heart and ability to take some massive punches. And um, that, that's my fight. That's my fight. That yeah, that was a good fight with both of them going to the canvas. What do you think the problem is, though, with Stevenson? It seems like his career has stalled. Where do you think he should go after this fight he's fighting against this Shahalski or whatever the fuck this guy's name is? Do you think that where, – where do you think he should go? Well, he's just got to carry on doing what he was doing, man, you know, and get the fight with Kovalev and win, lose, draw, we'll see, you know. I mean, it's not a disaster. He still holds a belt. People are talking like, oh, he's ducked the fight. That's the being on angle. Yo, they've still both got their feet, both feet and both arms. The fight can be made next year. And Stevenson's coming on every video saying he wants the fight. But it seems like the Floyd thing. No one's listening to what's coming out the man's lips. He's saying, I want the fight. Oh, you ducked him, you ducked him, you ducked him. He's saying he wants the fight. He wants the fight. Exactly, Beeson. I'm glad you said that because people seem to gloss over the words coming out the man's lips, but they want to discredit him even though he's saying he wants to fight, which is nonsense to me. But I'll move on from that. We don't need to get deep in that subject. EJ Boxing Live, a.k.a. E-Money Bags, fight of the year. Give it to me. All right, so EJ Boxing Live fight, man. There's been a great fights this year. Um, it's been it's been a definitely holy state. you got the Andalus Leash fight versus Coco Jim. You got Gamboa Crawford, um, Stephen. Um, you got um, Curtis Stevenson versus Tarana Johnson. 
you got um, Steve Cullen versus Amir Mansour, right? And also you got uh, Rodriguez, um, Francisco Rodriguez versus uh, Kota Takanama down the short division, the unification match. But I'm gonna go with some fight. I don't know if you guys have seen it, right? This is a great fight in the, um, the bantamweight division, right? It's called um, um, Pasito Hernandez versus Daniel Babboy Rosa, right? This is in, that was in, um, what was it? May, around May, May, June, 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 right, of this year. And I'm telling you, bro, the fight was sick, man. So that was sick. Straight from round one to round 12. We went in the distance, but there was loads of knockdowns from this jump. The Land of Sea fight was violent, but this one, it was sick, man. Boxing display, the two warriors putting it on the young guy, got the old guy. And I'm telling you, man, it was a great fight, man. I'm telling you. Pazila Hernandez, old guy. You know, I had a, a couple of shots of the title before, but it always fell short. Um, Daniel Babway Rossa, the young up-and-coming guy. And you, you put, everyone thought he was the favorite, and he got put in his back straight in the first round. And from then on, he clawed himself back in and wobbled um, Pazila Hernandez all the way through the fight. And it was an epic fight, man. I'm telling you, I'll be up there. Backwards and forwards fight, but for me, right, I'm gonna name it that one there. Told you won't get much shine, but I'm telling you, if you watch it, you'll have to agree with me. But that um Paisito Hernandez and Daniel Badboy Rossa was a great up and coming fight. It was for the interim um WO Banning weight and then um um Paisito, um Hernandez went on to face um the Mexican Japanese guy um Kavanzari, who's gonna fight um what's it Jamie McDonald for, the, um, for the, um, the unification back sometime next year. So you guys check out that fight. Um, I got my commentary as always. And um, it's on my channel, Easy Boxing Live. Check it out, but for me, it's that fight. All right, uh, leave it to Arrow again, stealing one of my fights. Me and Arrow, I have to spar over this. Because I had, I had my sword versus Cunningham. But I'm gonna move on to my second, which was uh, pretty much, I guess we're gonna have a unanimous or, or, or majority decision. I'm gonna go with Bud Crawford versus Gamboa with all the knockdowns back and forth. That was just a great fight. That was just a great fight. Um, those two brothers put up a great fight, and uh, I have nothing but respect for Gamboa for moving up to that weight where he doesn't belong and fighting with his heart out. So I'm gonna go with that. 